All right, guys. So today we're going to be checking out the brand new Lipertech Pure Play Z7. Now, if the packaging looks familiar, uh, this is almost identical to the Pure Play Z3s, which are the Lipertech Heavies. And that's been one of my favorite pair of budget true wireless earbuds because it was one of the first pairs to show me how much I can get without having to spend a whole lot of money. But the difference between those and the Z7s is this pair comes in at $200, but it's also Lipertech using triple drivers in their earbuds because they're using two balanced armature drivers mixed with a dynamic driver to kind of show that they can get into higher end audio as well. So we're gonna check out this pair. We're gonna see what all comes inside the box and talk about the specs uh, and see if it's actually worth the $200 price tag. So let's go ahead and start with the price because I think that's gonna be a big concern if people are looking to spend $200 on a pair of earbuds. Most people are gonna want active noise canceling, which this pair does not have, or they're gonna be wanting a brand that they're very familiar with or possibly even a brand that you just see marketed everywhere, which is also not the Lipertech brand. So who is this pair really for? Now, I can tell you uh, because they're using the two custom balanced armature drivers mixed with the titanium coated dynamic driver, this is going to be more for somebody that's focused on audio alone. Now, it does have some very impressive features which we're gonna talk about, but if you're able to hear what those triple drivers are doing, uh, you'll notice a huge difference between the sound on these and let's say a pair of AirPods Pros or Galaxy Buds Pros and other brands that you can also get in this price range. Now, as far as the technology that these have, uh, they do have Bluetooth 5.2, and they're also using the Qualcomm 3040 chip, which is easily one of the better chips out there because it allows you to get really decent performance and not have it take a toll on your battery life. And then as far as the Bluetooth codecs that it has, uh, it does have Aptex Adaptive. Now, Aptex Adaptive changes your bit rate to keep your stability between your earbuds and the device that you're using, but it also just kind of automatically changes the delay if you're gonna be watching movies or videos or playing games. It keeps you from having lag, but it also keeps you from having to switch into a low latency mode or a gaming mode to make sure that you don't have that lag. So if you're somebody that just likes to watch all types of media or go from music to gaming uh, this is easily one of those pairs that can do it but it just kind of does it on its own you don't have to actually go in and do anything now as far as any other bluetooth codecs it does have aac and sbc but another huge bonus about this pair and this also goes with the lipertech tevies as well is it works with lipertech's app and within this app uh, you do have the seven band eq that you can just go through and customize the eq settings the way that you want now some other things that the app does is it allows these to switch into ldx mode uh, and that's basically lipertech definition expander and to sum up what that really does uh, is it just kind of adds a little bit more of a dynamic sound but it opens up your audio quite a bit where it sounds like you're in a much more open environment so it adds some space in the sound and you can tell a noticeable difference between the ldx mode being on and when it's off now some other things within the app is you can switch into the hear through mode which is basically an ambient mode uh, and that allows you just to hear your surroundings or you know have a conversation with somebody without actually taking the earbuds out and although I don't think it has the best ambient mode uh, it does do a good job of being able to hear things it just sounds a little bit more on the digital side and then outside of that you can find your earbuds within the app uh, and you can also just kind of switch around the controls if you want one earbud to do something something instead of having the other earbud do it. So it does allow some customization here and there. Uh, so the app is just nice to have. Now, as far as using these outdoors, uh, they don't come with the IPX7 rating that the Lipertech Tevis have, which is kind of a disappointment, uh, but they do come in rated at IPX5, which means if you want to use these outdoors or at the gym, you're going to be okay. Uh, it's not going to be affected by rain or light splashes or if you're somebody that sweats heavily, but you do want to make sure that you do not submerge this pair into water. Now, as far as what they've included inside the box, on top of getting three sets of silicone ear tips, they've also included three sets of foam ear tips as well. And I think the huge plus to this is uh, there's a lot of people, especially ones that like higher end audio that prefer foam ear tips. Uh, it's just nice to be able to have both options 
out of the box. And then um, another thing that you normally don't see included with your earbuds are these little filters that go in between your ear tip and the actual earbud itself. Now there's already one that's on the earbuds. Uh, this is just something you can change over time, especially when the pair that you have may get you know dirt and dust and things that will cause an interference between the audio passing through these and getting cleanly into your ear. And it just kind of makes you have peace of mind that the experience that you're getting out of the box, you'll be able to have this further down the road because if the filter that you have is getting dirty or clogged up, you can simply just switch it out. Now, as far as the charging cable that's included, it does come with a USB-C cable. Uh, but if you don't want to use the USB-C cable, the case on these is also a Qi wireless charging case. So you could simply just come in, drop this on any wireless charger. And actually, Lipertex sells their own brand wireless charger but I believe it's 30 or 40 dollars so that's not really required you could really just use any wireless charger uh, that you already have but speaking of charging the battery life is very impressive on this pair in fact it was always impressive on the Tevis as well uh, but on the Z7s you're going to get around 10 hours of battery life on the earbuds themselves with around 80 hours total using the case. Now the case is a little bit larger, but if that's the trade-off to have a larger battery, I'm completely okay with this. But if you do happen to pick the earbuds up and they are dead, uh, these also have a fast charge feature where a 15 minute charge will get you two hours of use. But moving back over to looking at the case, um, again, it has that same fabric look that the Tevis have. Um, it is actually slightly larger than the case on the Tevis, uh, but it's a little more squared off as the Tevis had more of a rounded case. But on the back, you can see the USB-C input for charging. And then around on the front, you have this tiny single indicator light. Uh, that way you can kind of gauge how much battery life is left on the case. Now, one thing that I am glad that they did not include on the Z7s that's always been on the Z3s is it doesn't come with that little leather strap uh, which I always felt kind of took away from the look. Now, I know that's just personal preference, but, but on the Z7s, you just get the case and there's no lanyard or loop attachment uh, made on the case. Now, when you open up the lid of the case, you can see that the earbuds are sitting in there. Uh, they're pretty spaced out, again, because this is a very large case. And to be honest, the case on these and the earbuds, to me anyway, almost look identical to the Tevis. Now, some people are gonna be completely fine with this, um, but in my opinion, I think this look is starting to get a little bit dated. I don't think a lot of people are gonna want a larger case, but I also think the earbuds themselves just have a very bland design. Uh, they do stick out you know, a little bit while they're in your ears, and a lot of people do not like this as well. So if you're somebody that cares about the looks and the appearance of a product, uh, this is just not gonna be one of those pairs that just jumps out at you. Now, as far as the controls on this pair, they do use button controls. Uh, and the button controls do work pretty well. I do kind of find at times when I'm pushing the button, uh, it feels like I'm pushing the earbuds a little bit into my ear. So I kind of have to either grab the earbud or push at a different angle. So that's a little annoying, uh, especially because the earbuds stick out. I would have preferred the button controls to have been on the top or the bottom of the earbuds. That way you could just grip it and change it that way. But uh, speaking of the controls, I am happy to say that they give you control over everything out of the box. So technically you don't have to go into the app to uh, add controls or take away controls, but instead of maybe one feature that you'd rather work when you triple tap them, uh, you could take it off the double tap. Anyway, it just gives you customization, but you don't have to go in there to really do anything. Now, as far as you guys that do like to use one earbud at a time, uh, you'll be happy to know that you can use either the left or the right. And then as far as the microphones on here, um, I would say they almost sound the same as the Lipertech Tevis. They do come in pretty clear, and they're also using the CVC 8.0 technology to block out a lot of your surroundings. But I think for phone calls, most people are going to be happy, but you guys can be a judge by listening to a test here. All right, guys, so here is a mic test using the Z7s. I think overall it picks up my voice very well. Um, it doesn't pick up a whole lot of bass tones, so my voice does sound a little tinny, but it still comes through very clear, and this is what it would sound like if you were to take a call. And so now here is a mic test with the crowd noise being played, which you can hear here. And so this is what it would sound like if you were to take a call in public. So now let's talk about the sound, because in my opinion, the sound on these were 
just pretty blah out of the box. And I don't, I don't understand why companies do this uh, because I had the same experience when I tested the new Sony WF-1000X and 4s. Um, I felt like the earbuds had so much potential, especially when I started EQing them, uh, that I didn't understand why they had this just dull sound out of the box. And the same thing go with the Z7s uh, because they sound fantastic once you go through and EQ them, which I will show my EQ settings here uh, so you can see what I actually changed them to. Uh, again, with these EQ settings, it has a really, really quick punchy bass. Uh, the bass on these are definitely not sloppy. Uh, it feels like it just hits you and moves away real quick, which made them incredible with metal. It really just worked great with all genres, but metal is one of those categories where if the bass is too sloppy, it will get muddy or it'll get congested or just affect the mids and the highs. But the mids and the highs on these, because they're using those dual custom balance armature drivers, are incredible. The vocals are some of the best that I've heard on True Wireless earbuds. Uh, it kept everything sounding extremely natural, but definitely up front. And the treble, if you're somebody that likes a very bright and harsh treble, this is one of those pairs that can hit that point. Now, a lot of True Wireless earbuds uh, don't normally get that high, and out of the box, this pair is not that high. So if you don't like that, you don't have to have it, but I really like a very bright and upfront treble, uh, especially to go with a really dynamic bass, because it just makes everything sound more exciting. It just has more of a dynamic feel to it, and in my opinion, it's just more enjoyable enjoyable to listen to. But the huge plus about this pair is if you just want a dull, bland sound, that's what you get out of the box. But if you want something different, being able to EQ these, uh, this pair handles EQing extremely easily. Uh, so you can pretty much get any sound that you want uh, just by going in and tweaking those settings. Now, as far as the sound stage and sound imaging, uh, this is an area, again, I think they did a good job with. Uh, they do sound fairly open and you have no issues being able to tell where things are coming from. But if you do want them to sound even more open, that's where you would go into the app and switch into that LDX mode. Now, when you switch it into the LDX mode, it will disable the EQ settings that you have. So do keep that in mind. Uh, Lipertech just kind of switches it into an EQ EQ setting that they have pre-built for that. Uh, it is more dynamic than the bland sound that these have out of the box. Uh, but in my opinion, I still preferred the EQ settings that I did manually. But if you're going to be watching a movie or a video or you want things to just have that more realistic and open sound, uh, that's where you would switch it into that LDX mode because I personally don't think it benefits a lot to use that LDX mode for music, uh, especially when you can get a much better sound by going into the EQ options. Uh, I think as far as audio quality goes, it's one of the best sounding pairs on the market. I, I would put it up against the Samsung Galaxy Buds Pro. I would put it up against the AirPods. Pro, I would put it up against Sennheiser's, and even the new Sony WF-1000X and 4s. Where LiberTech is going to have a problem, though, is not having noise canceling on a pair that's $200. Also, having a somewhat bland design compared to a lot of other ones. For $200, I still easily recommend them if you're in for audio quality alone. Uh, I would like to see these probably priced a little closer to maybe 170 or 150 because Lipertech is not one of those well-known brands yet. I think they'll get there, but I think it's going to be more within the audio community and not really with mainstream consumers. But guys, that's my video on the brand new Lipertech Pure Play Z7s. Thank you so much for checking out this video. Thank you so much for checking out all the other videos. And as always, make sure to stay tuned for more.